MCJ Sports. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to MCJ Sports. My name is Marco. In today's video, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 NFL teams heading into the 2018 season. But before we begin, I would just like to remind everyone to please like this video and subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video. At number 10, I have the LA Chargers, a team that started out 0-4 last season and really struggled to get things going, but their strong defense made a late playoff push, but unfortunately they weren't able to make it to the 2017 offseason. They are a team to be reckoned with and a team that could possibly win the AFC West next season. Watch out for that stifling defensive line with Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa. At number 9, I have the Green Bay Packers, a team that has really struggled over the past few seasons when it came to drafting good players or signing free agents, and they even lost Jordy Nelson, a key piece in their franchise for the past few years this offseason. The only reason I even have this team in my top 10 is two words, Aaron Rodgers. One of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now, and one of the best of all time, is going to carry this team to the playoffs and possibly a wild card berth this offseason. At number 8, I have the Atlanta Falcons, who right now have the most talented wide receiver core in the NFL, but also the most controversial receiving core in the NFL right now, as they're a mess trying to trade and re-sign all their players. They have former MVP quarterback Matt Ryan, who took them to Super Bowl 51 against the Patriots, and they were very close to beating the Eagles in the playoffs this past season, and could have almost had a rematch of Super Bowl 51. The Falcons will ultimately have to struggle through a very difficult NFC South if they want to make it to the playoffs as a wild card. At number 7, I have the Houston Texans, who will be competing with a fourth place schedule in the AFC South, a team that lost quarterback Deshaun Watson and defensive end J.J. Watt. They're looking for a huge bounce back here. They ended last year 4-12, and could possibly flip that record into a 12-4, and again, competing with a last-place record, and they will be getting key players back. This team is looking for a bounce back and potentially a playoff berth this season. At number 6, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers, who will ultimately, as they always do, win the AFC North, as they always play teams like the Cleveland Browns and Cincinnati Bengals twice a year. But as always, they will run into the sledgehammer known as the New England Patriots sometime in the playoffs, who will probably eliminate Pittsburgh. Now moving into teams I consider Super Bowl contenders, at number 5 I have the LA Rams, who will be competing in the very dense NFC West, but a team that I believe has the talent, with young quarterback Jared Goff, who has continued to get better every single season, and they added pro bullish Ndamukong Sue and Marcus Peters, on the defensive side of the field, they are looking to be a very dangerous team in the NFC this season. At number four, I have the New Orleans Saints, who will most likely win the NFC South this season, and a team that was very close to potentially making it to the Super Bowl if it wasn't for one bad tackle in the divisional round against the Minnesota Vikings. They have future Hall of Famer at quarterback Drew Brees and a Pro Bowl tandem at running back with Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram. Also, a stout defense that will continue to get better with Marcus Lattimore, cornerback, winning Rookie Defensive Player of the Year as they added more pieces on defense through the draft. Staying in the NFC at number three, I have a team that might shock some of you putting them this low on the list. I have Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. I know what you're thinking. They didn't even have their starting quarterback, and they still won a Super Bowl against Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, and the Patriots. But I think this team is competing with a first place schedule and an NFC East that has continued to get better. I think this team is going to have a sophomore slump with Doug Peterson, and I believe that this team is not as much of a threat as they were last season. They'll probably only win 10 or 11 games, and they will probably not make it to the Super Bowl. At number two, I have the Minnesota Vikings. Man, did they make one of the biggest signings of the offseason this year, signing Kirk Cousins to a long-term deal, finally establishing their franchise quarterback as they went back and forth for all these years between different guys who would be their quarterback. Basically, since Brett Favre left, they've been wondering who is our next franchise guy. Well, they found him, Kirk Cousins, along with a stout defense and a solid receiving core behind Stephon Diggs, will lead this team most likely to Super Bowl 53. At number one, there's only one team left that this could really be. You all know who it is. The evil empire of the NFL for the past two decades, the New England Patriots. 
There's been a lot of doubt and a lot of controversy. Many former players coming out, putting bad news and bad connotations with the Patriots. But Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, they have five rings each. They do not care about that. They don't care if they're not fun. They win. And they're going to win a sixth Super Bowl ring this season at Super Bowl 53. And they're going to prove everyone wrong. You better watch out. If you have the Patriots on your schedule, you better cower in fear because Bill and Tom are angry and they are coming for you. And they're going to go 16-0 and and they're going to win another Super Bowl ring. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. Uh, if you have any comments you'd like to leave down below, if you hated the list, if you liked the list, let me know what you would change. Uh, any other video ideas, also comment that down below. All right, well, please like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.